Hey everyone, I'm P. Mary, and this is the Pathosaurus tutorial. So, Pathosaurus is fairly similar to Pathomatics, but with one key difference. The answers are words instead of numbers. And instead of going from each and instead of going from from number to number, all of, uh, from 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 page to page in, in a random order, you go you flip through each page consecutively like you would in a regular book, sort of. So let's get started. You will kind of see what I mean as as we go along. So this would normally be like, so this here would normally be like in the center of a page or something, and and you just have to like solve it based on like whatever the information says. So in this case, it'd be the page number. Uh, oh right, and I should also mention that like the, pur the, pur the purpose of this arrow is like the clues are drawn in different directions, as you can kind of see here as well a little bit, and you draw and you, and you basically draw, write the word in, in the direction of in, in the same direction the word's facing. So in this, so in this case, you have page number facing upward. And the page, uh, and you're on the first page, so that number, so the answer is going to be one. And on to the next puzzle, so and even prime. So basically, a positive number that only has itself and one as a factor, one's just short, and two is the only even, uh, and two, uh, but but two is one times two. And every other multi even numbers of multiple of two, and something else. So two happens to meet the condition, and this is facing to, and, and and this is facing to the right. Okay. Now on to this one. Some of some of previous page numbers, to a word. Okay, so normally this would be the, the, this little bit here would be in the bottom right corner, but I just but, but I just have it here for a little bit of simplicity, so that's just easier to do for the editing and all that. And one plus two is okay. So we're so we're gonna put that down, and and and, and we said two a word, right? So it basically, has to end on a word here, which means that the last letter has to be an e. Therefore, three must go here to one. Okay. And a question mark, and a question mark letter and number. There are ten puzzles here total, so the answer can't be any higher than ten. And we already did one, one, two, and we already did one, two, and three. And I guess uh, I didn't say it couldn't be those answers again, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's just say, let's, let's just say you can only use one number once, kind of like mathematics. <laughs> but anyway, in this case, nine would be four, eight would be five, seven would be five, six would be three, five would be four, and four would be four. So let's flip this up. Because that's the only one that makes sense. <coughs> and, te <coughs> and technically, um, I, I, I so technically, I guess, I guess it could also go here, but I, 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 I should try not to clutter them too much because that would get really confusing. So. You can keep that in mind as well. <laughs> it just makes things a little bit easier in general. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, um, now this is just a little different. But basically, when letters are written like this, like like, like it might appear backwards, but it's basically just facing the other way relative to how it's relative to how the words are usually written. So basically, it could be the third letter by itself to two numbers. And you can probably figure this. And you can probably figure this out. And you figure this out on your own. On your own a little bit. 
but in this case it's 5 because V is 5 in Roman numerals. And it's this E instead of that E because this E also has 1. This E only has 3 and we said 2 numbers, not just 1. Anyway, on to this one. So basically a square that has up on it. As you can see, see here, this is basically a list of squares and stuff. It can't be this one, so it has to be, so this is, this has to be something dealing with with, with, one of the, with, one of, with one of these three in some way. Well, that's if it goes up anyway. Oh, it's got to zoom back in here. And basically, the and basically the up's pointing down, so that means it's upside down. And basically, and basically, basically, the, the, the only certain number here is the only certain number here is six, because even if you do the one as a straight line, it'll be nine. And nine one's still not a square. Four, four, four doesn't four doesn't look like anything, and one's already, one's already been done, and and one's already been done. So yep, it's gotta be six. Oh, right, have to rotate this thing. There we go. I have no I, I have no x's s's nor x's so far, so it has to go through the i. And as I said earlier, the number word for seven is well, seven. S one two E two V three E four and five plus two is seven. So Yep. And the answer's gotta be seven. <laughs> And basically, kind of just put the words wherever you, wherever you have the space to write them and stuff. Nope. Okay, so replace the only third with fourth. The only time third's been written so far was with this clue. So it could be the fourth letter by itself. In this case, the answer will be eight. Why? Just go through the alphabet. <laughs> anyway, eight. Yep, oh, just gonna move this up here a little bit. Another question mark letter number if question mark is the same as before from the lowest end. And we also and we also went over the fact that nine is also a four letter number. And we said that this time but that this time is from the lowest end. So it's not going to be this end and it's not going to, and it's not going to be going to be two in E because we said it's from an N. I kind of explain a lot, but it's actually easier done than said, just like mathematics in general. <laughs> I'm just kind of going through it to be clear on things. And now for the last one. Well, if you split it this way. Then you get T-E-N. 20th letter, 5th letter, 14th letter. 
and this is a chorus going down. So yeah, it's basically so. So yeah, it's basically how you solve these puzzles, and in some ways it's easier than Path of Mags, but in other ways it could, it could be trickier. I put some pretty obscure words in there, so even if you don't do math, you might have to do a lot of searching instead for some of them. <laughs> but once you get the hang of it, it's really not. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually pretty fun. I, 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 I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you have a lot of fun solving it as well. I remember. <laughs> Later.